Good morning, this is Father Jeff Henry with St. Michael Catholic Community for Travis Air Force Base, and I'd like to share something with you for less than 240 seconds on today's evening prayer reading. It's just amazing, and it's about faith. Uh, the writer of Hebrews, we don't know who it was. My theory is it's Apollos, but uh, who knows? He has something to say about faith. He says this, and I'm just going to paraphrase it from another version that's not in our lectionary. It says, faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. Faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. Have you ever noticed that sometimes when you really visualize something and dream of something, it's almost as if it's really there already? That's how God created everything. In God's mind, God thought of it. God conceived of these things, and they came to be. So our faith is in the substance of God. However, how does that play out in our lives, this evidence that we cannot see? It says here, and I will read this from our lectionary, By faith Abraham obeyed when he was called to go out to a place that he was to receive as an inheritance. He went out not knowing where he was to go. I just love that passage. Where he went to a place he did not know where he was going. He's seeking the undiscovered country, to, to quote Shakespeare. How does that happen? How does this undiscovered country, how does this place go where we don't know where our destination is? Well, it's a little like this, like packing for a journey. I remember when I was young, I used to take uh, two paper bags, throw some stuff in the bags, hop in the car, and I was gone. I'd be 12 hours away from home, driving along happily <laughs> with just some, some junk in the back seat. Now, when I get ready for a trip, it takes forever for me to pack at times. I have all sorts of things, special food I want to take, how many extra chains of clothes. Of course, I have to have some extra socks. I have this and that. And it, by the time I get there, I've got all this stuff. I think it starts when you have kids because then you have to pack and plan for everything. It's almost like the trip loses a bit of its freedom. God has called us to freedom. God says, step out. Just step out and see where I'm going to lead you. We travel light. How does that play out in our lives, in our daily existence? Everything doesn't have to be exactly planned. At times we have to allow for a little bit of a serendipity to come in and not be afraid. Don't be ruffled when things don't work exactly according to plan. Sometimes we have more choices in our plans, but God has a different thing in mind. Man proposes, God discloses. Let's have a word of prayer. Heavenly Father, we commend our way to you. We pray that you'd help us to make the plans that are necessary in our lives, but be willing to accept that when things don't work exactly according to our plans, it doesn't mean you're not in control. Teach us the freedom of just accepting one moment at a time. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. God bless you. Have a great weekend. Mass is at 9 o'clock at Travis Air Force Base, Twin Peaks Chapel. It will be inside. Uh, please do register first. Pre-register at www.stmichaeltravis.org. It'll be on this closing page after I'm done here. Take care.